social science how did hitler establish nazi rule in germany hitler began his political career as an agitator in 1923 he attempted to capture power it was known as beer hall revolution but he failed in his attempt so he was arrested for high treason and sentenced to 5 years imprisonment soon he was released under the inspiring leadership of hitler the nazi party grew in power and number in the election held in 1932 the nazi party became the second largest group in the german parliament reichstag lawyer goes in 1933 the nazis became the largest party in the german parliament hitler became the chancellor and hindenburg became the president on the death of president hindenburg in august 1934 hitler made himself the president and chancellor he abolished the weimar republic and proclaimed the third reich with himself as dictator thus hitler established a nazi rule in germany and he became the fuhrer leader of germany what are the achievements of the european union single market the european union has developed a single market through a standardized systems of laws which apply to all member states it ensures the free movement of people goods services and capital including the abolition of passport controls it maintains common policies of trade agriculture fisheries and regional development common foreign and security policy the european union concludes treaties with countries and enact legislations in justice and home affairs permanent diplomatic missions of the european union are established around the world it has maintained representation at the world trade organization g8 g20 and at the united nations single currency the euro is the name of the single european currency it was put into the circulation on january 1st 2002 the symbol of euro is this euro eliminated foreign exchange hurdles faced by companies doing business across european border and promotes free trade policy enlargement of european union the union membership has gone up from 6 to 27 many countries have acceded to the treaties by doing so they have pulled their sovereignty in exchange for representation in the institution scientific research scientific development is facilitated through the european framework programs the independent european research council allocate funds in european or national research projects eu's role in the uno the eu has established a strong relationship with the uno it extends financial support to united nations programs and projects other achievements the eu is the largest contributor of foreign aid in the world above all unity was brought by the eu in the europe zone euro zone the quit india movement the crips mission called in a failure it brought about a change in gandhi's attitude he felt that non violent methods so far followed did not yield the desired <coughs> effect therefore he asked for the complete withdrawal of the british from india during the second world war 
Japan got victory over victory. The Congress leaders felt that the presence of English in India would naturally invite Japan to invade India. So the Congress Working Committee passed a resolution on 8th August 1942 demanding the immediate withdrawal of the British from India. The historic Quit India resolution was passed at Bombay. Gandhiji's memorable speech was I am not going to be satisfied with anything short of complete freedom. We shall do or die. We shall either free India or die in the attempt. It was indeed a clarion call for unarmed revolt on a mass scale. Result On the very next day, Gandhi, Nehru, Abdul Kalam Azad and other prominent leaders of the Congress were arrested. Due to lack of proper leadership, violent riots took place everywhere. Sark S A A R C Sark means the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. India took initiative to form the Sark. The member countries are Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Sri Lanka. SARS first meeting held at Dhaka in Bangladesh on December 7, 1985. Asan of Bangladesh was the first secretary general of SARC. Afghanistan was the last country to become a member of the SARC. The 16th summit took place on 28th and 29th of April 2010 at Thimbu, the capital of Bhutan. The major aim of SARC countries is to maintain peace in the regional level. The SARC countries identified mutual cooperation in transportation, postal, service, tourism, shipping, meteorology, health, agriculture, rural reconstruction and telecommunication. types and the importance of democracy democracy can be classified into two as one direct democracy and two indirect democracy direct democracy people directly participate in the functioning of the government it existed in ancient greece and rome in ancient india village panchayats system was functioning based on direct democratic norms indirect democracy the representatives are duly elected by the people they form and run the government most of the countries in the world follow indirect democracy political parties play a major role in the functioning of the government importance of democracy in a democracy people have the freedom to choose their representatives it ensures treating people with dignity people are guaranteed fundamental rights like the right to live and liberty by the constitution in a democracy all decisions are taken based on the majority democratic government should enhance public welfare principles of liberty equality and fraternity are the foundation of democracy the three strategies adopted by the government to protect the interest of the consumer the government takes various steps to protect the interests of the consumers the following are the three strategies adopted by the government one legislative measure enactment of consumer production act two administrative measure distributing essential commodities through public distribution system pds 3 technical measures standardization of the product a legislation concerning consumer rights the government enacted a specific law called the consumer protection act in 1986 the act has led to setting up of separate departments of consumer affairs in central and state government they focus on the rights of the consumers as enshrined in the act 
Consumer courts have been established at district level, state level and national level. Consumers' grievances are redressed here. Public distribution system. Under this system, the poor are ensured. Food security. But public distribution system has to be strengthened. Measures to prevent hoarding, black marketing and overcharging by traders are to be enforced. Standardization of products. Various institutions have been set up to see the production of goods to be of standard quality. This has been achieved through BIS and AGMARC. ISO is an international organization which serves to provide such a common reference standard. For setting the international food standards, Godex Alimentations Commission has been set up. FAO and WHO develop food standards, guidelines and course of practices for production and international trade in food products. How can we should serve soil resources? We should construct dams or check dams across the river course. Step cultivation will prevent soil erosion. Buns should be constructed according to contours. Excessive grazing should be avoided. We should grow more trees because tree reduces the force of strong winds and prevent blowing away of soil pra practices, pra pra particles. Roots of trees, plants and grasses hold soil particles and strengthen the soil. Hence, deforestation should be avoided to increase forestation. Plants, grass and shrubs control the speed of flowing water. Therefore, such plants should not be removed. Steps should be taken to plant the trees wherever it does not exist. We should avoid application of chemical fertilizer. Applying natural manure successively to the field is one of the best methods of soil conservation. Factors encouraging cotton textile industry in Mumbai. Mumbai in Maharashtra is the leading cotton textile center and it is called the Manchester of India. The following factors favor the cotton textile industries in Mumbai. Location of ports facilities for the export of finished goods. Well connected through rail and road links with cotton growing areas. Humid coasted climate. Favors yawning, availability of capital goods and finance, availability of manpower. The means of mass communication. Mass communication enables millions of people to get the information at the same time. It helps in creating awareness among the people regarding various national policies and programs. Radio. In India, Radio Bradcourt was started in 1927. In 1936, it was named as All India Radio AIR. From 1957, it came to be called as Akaswani. It serves as an effective medium to educate people on health, environment protection, family planning, science and technology. Television. Television is one of the largest terrestrial networks in the world. In India, it is known as Doordarshan. It offers three-tier program services, national, regional, local, for various categories of people. It brings its viewers all the major programs of national and international importance through live telecast. It broadcasts a variety of programs for people of different age groups and religions. Newspapers. Newspapers are the most common and powerful means of communication. They bring information about national and international events to the people. They serve as a very effective tool for knowing public views and opinions. Internet. Internet means interconnected network of networks. It links thousands of smaller computer networks. 
it is a vast network of computers it connects many of the world's business institutions and individuals the basic service of internet are email the world wide web and internet phone 